Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. 11 days after a brutal shark attack in Florida, a group of East Texans is speaking out about that day when they went from witnesses to heroes. KLTV's Lauren Tier reports the group of recent high school graduates immediately sprang into action, crediting instinct and God's timing. No one wants to witness that, but like I, I know that we were there for a reason. On the last day of their senior trip, a seemingly normal day on the Gulf in Florida turned into chaos in front of this group of recent Mount Pleasant and Sulphur Springs High School graduates. It was like we all were like leaned back, we were real relaxed, and then all at the same time we heard screaming and like slashing, and we all were like, the screaming coming from a group of girls in the water. I look up and I see all these girls just like rush towards the shore, like just rushing, and I'm like, what is going on? And then the next thing I see is like the little like shark like tail going like back and forth, like back and forth. In that moment, the part of the group that was on the beach immediately did what they could to help. Two of them, Kate Monk and Carson Zachary, running into the water, eventually carrying one of the shark attack victims to safety. She just kind of lifted her foot up out of the water and that's when we saw that she had been bitten on her lower leg and on her foot. And so I just think that was when we knew we had to act. Once she was on shore. I just remember like yelling, like someone get me a towel. Um, I just knew that we had to wrap her leg up just to kind of contain the bleeding. Others in the group found themselves comforting the victim's friends and loved ones. There's one girl who is coming out of the water. First girl I made eye contact with. And she was panicking and it was really scary. And I just remember, I wanted her to know I was talking to her. So I like reached for her face and I grabbed her face and I was like, if you will let me, I would love to pray over you. Like, let's pray. And she was like, yes, yes. Being back home for over a week now, how do you look back on that day? I've always said like, I don't really want to be portrayed as a hero because like, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I was in that situation. I just think we acted on what we knew we could do in the moment. Um, and so looking back on it, I'm just really glad that God placed us in that moment at the right time to help those girls and give them comfort. High school health science teacher Amanda Hutchings says she was so proud of her students for applying what they knew as certified clinical medical assistants. Everything from applying tourniquets to calming down those in shock. This generation gets such a bad rap for entitlement and they don't care and they could do whatever but this what they did it definitely tells about their character more than anything minutes before the sound of screams erupted conley zachary says she had a feeling she needed to stay in shallow water i'm not one that's like afraid of the water like i'm not afraid to go out deep or anything like i do that all the time whenever we're at the beach but i i really think God is probably telling me, like, don't go out there. Like, there's a reason you don't need to go out there. What is your biggest takeaway, the biggest lesson that you learned from all of this? I think when something happens, that makes you realize something is more important than yourself. Like, and you can help other people. I think it leads to community, and that's, I mean, I never thought I would be in communication with people from Birmingham, Alabama. Since June 7th, the girls have been in contact with the victims and all the others they met on the beach in such a shocking turn of events. The girls really getting to talk to them and reconnect with them is something so big. Like, I think we all needed that puzzle piece. And to show support, the East Texans all sporting their I Made It sweatshirts and bracelets. The first words survivor Lulu Gribben said in the hospital. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. As soon as the girls who suffered injuries in the attack are healed, they all planned to get together to meet on happier terms.